Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, back again with, well, something that I just couldn't not talk about. How could I avoid this? Gibson, again! Why? Why am I constantly beating on Gibson? I don't dislike Gibson. See that over there? That's a Gibson. I love that guitar, it's amazing. Uh, I have a Gibson Les Paul Music City Junior with uh, B Bender in it. Love it, really cool guitar. I used to have a Gibson Custom Shop uh, Gold Top, the uh, 57 reissue, you know, lovely, beautiful guitar. And I'm dying to get another one, but they're expensive. <laughs> Why is it that a company with such a rich history can consistently fuck shit up? I just don't get it. So where do we begin with Gibson? Like I, I feel that if I talked about everything Gibson did wrong, this channel would purely be me bitching about stupid shit that Gibson did. When the guitar souls started, our initial idea was to literally just film a bunch of episodes talking about the ugliest Gibson guitars ever made. I mean, to be fair, making ugly guitars isn't a crime, so there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it's certainly uh, a questionable business decision. We're talking about a company with millions and millions and millions of dollars of debt, hundreds of millions of dollars of debt. I, I mean, I should really research. I want to say 568, but I'm just throwing numbers out there. A lot, a lot of numbers. We're talking about a company that is now selling its Memphis factory and hopefully relocating to somewhere within the area. But who really knows? We're talking about a company that's in major trouble here. We're talking about a company that is one of the reasons behind that absolute shit show of a Wall Street Journal article. Was it Wall Street Journal? Washington Post article on uh, the decline of the electric guitar and the electric guitar is dying. Gibson can't sell guitars, therefore the electric guitar is dying. Uh, you know, there's a reason Gibson can't sell guitars. Uh, let's talk about that. Because they don't make what people want to buy. It's not fucking rocket science, is it? Just make the guitars that people want to buy. Oh, and here's a slightly more important thing to, to add to that. Make sure when they leave your factory, they are immaculate. Make sure when they leave your factory, they are stunning examples of craftsmanship. You charge top dollar for your instruments, absolute top dollar for your instruments. I should be confident that whenever I pick one up in a shop, it is going to be amazing. Amazing. I can go into Guitar Guitar in Glasgow and pick up a huge selection of guitars. And I know that if I pick up a Sir, it's going to be fantastic. No questions about it. I know that if I pick up a high-end PRS guitar, it's going to be amazing. No questions about it. If I went in there to buy a Gibson, I would know that I need to play quite a few of them to find a good one. So, is there a big problem here? Well, yes. Let's talk about Gibson's own marketing. Okay, so a while back, Gibson posted a picture of a guitar on their website. In fact, I'll pull up the actual price of this just so I, I, I don't um, get this. So this is a guitar that was $4,800, okay? A $4,800 guitar, a Les Paul Standard in Oxford Grey, and they posted the pictures of it on their website, and it had a giant chip in the back of it. A giant chip! What? Okay, fair enough, I understand. Maybe when the photographer was taking a picture of this, he looked at it and thought to himself, oh, they've gone for that historic look. It looks aged, just in that one little spot. <laughs> that in itself is ridiculous. But today, I've just seen that Gibson have posted, uh, a Le what is it? It's a Les Paul Traditional, the 2018 Les Paul Traditional. And it's still on Gibson's website at the time of posting this. If I go to Gibson's website, uh, browse current model year, Les Paul, scroll down through the, uh, the mythical Les Paul, traditional Les, uh, Les Paul Traditional 2018, $2,640, right? I scroll down and look at the pictures of it, and right there, right there, the guitar has a broken headstock. 
literally in the pictures of the the guitar that they are using to market their product, it has a broken headstock. You have a bit of a problem as it is with a reputation for broken headstocks. In fact, see that guitar over there? It's there. <laughs> That has a broken headstock that has been repaired. Uh, that's a good way to pick up good deals on Gibson guitars. Buy them secondhand when they've had a broken headstock that has been repaired and you will save a lot of money. And the chances are that the person who's repaired it has probably done a better job than Gibson did putting the damn thing together in the first place. Absolute shower of shit. I... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to throw in one more because essentially what I'm doing here is reporting news. This is just something that is taking the internet by storm. I saw the most beautiful Les Paul I think I've ever seen. One of my patrons, Daniel, posted the most beautiful Les Paul I had ever seen. Take a look at this picture. Unbelievably good looking Les Paul. And I thought to myself, oh, it's, it's probably going to be really expensive. But it really reminds me of my Red Vigier. So... If the price is right, maybe I'll pick that up. Maybe I'll buy that and I'll sell another guitar to make some room for it. I've got a bunch of guitars, you know, on my stairs and in the in the attic. Maybe I can find some room for this guitar. So I went over to his page and I asked him where he'd seen it. He told me the shop and I went online and I managed to find it. Oh my days. I mean, it certainly wasn't cheap. Really expensive, and don't get me wrong, beautiful, beautiful guitar. But as I was looking through the pictures, I couldn't help but notice just the lack of attention to detail. Check this picture out. In this, you can see very clearly that the... I mean, is this a design fault? Maybe, maybe not. The binding on the neck doesn't meet up with the binding on the body, which just looks messy. That caught my eye. But then the more I stared at that picture, can you see what I see? Yeah, see that red mark right there? Yeah. Somehow, this almost 5,000 euro guitar, when they were finishing it, they managed to get a bit of the red stain on the binding of the neck. They just left it there. Just, just went out of the shop. Just, yeah, that's good enough. Gibson, it's not good enough. Sort your shit out. I, I don't want to see such a historic company go bankrupt. But unless you sort out your unbelievable quality control issues, that's the only way this is going to go. And that would be heartbreaking. You're Gibson. I would love nothing more than to own 10 beautiful Les Pauls because they're beautiful guitars. That Howard Roberts is always in the shop because it's a beautiful guitar. You make some really beautiful guitars. And the top on that red guitar is one of the most beautiful tops I've ever seen on a guitar. Way too expensive. I couldn't possibly buy it though. I could not buy a guitar like that because, well, who knows what other issues it has. What do you guys think? Do you feel that Gibson has a problem with their quality control issues? Do you feel that there's just problems with Gibson in general? How do you feel about the problems with Gibson? I would uh, like to extend a huge thank you to my patrons over on patreon.com. These guys support me all at a $10 tier. So thank you so much for that support, guys. Realistically, what I would like to do is to be able to talk about things like this as part of a news segment on a podcast. And I am looking to start a kind of podcasty type thing. These guys are helping to make that happen. I'm just uh, trying to acquire some more gear, try and find the right people to work with on it. And then we can talk about things like this on a weekly basis. But yeah, so huge thank you to you guys. They're all, like I say, a $10 or more tier. If you would like to join us on Patreon, you can do so by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking this little button down here, and you will see two more of my videos here and here. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. It really does mean the world. Thanks for watching, telling your friends, and I will see you for another video soon. Bye. Oh, and Gibson, sort your shit out.